Welcome yet again to another video here on Celeb Corner KE. I am your number one political analyst, F. K. Mwenda. And the story to kickstart our day today with is the story in regards to President, the former President of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta involvement in the current politics of our nation and mostly going ahead to advise Raila Odinga against having a nudgeek and having a dialogue between him and the current president of the Republic of Kenya, Bona William Ruto. Now, insiders inside the Azimiola Umoja coalition have it that president, uh, uh, former president Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta has promised Raila Odinga that he will use every tool at his disposal to make Raila Odinga the president of the Republic of Kenya come the year 2027 if he decides to quit the AU chairmanship, the African Union chairmanship, where Raila Odinga want to become the chairman of the African Union. And also, if Raila Odinga turns down the dialogue between him and President William Ruto. Uhuru Kenyatta tells him, you know what? If you do that for me, I am ready to make you the next president of the Republic of Kenya. But the Azimiola Umoja principles have a question to President Uhuru Kenyatta. How are you going to achieve this? If at the time you were the president of the Republic of Kenya during the 2022 general election, and you decided to hand over the keys of the state house to, an, to someone else, apart from Raila Odinga, a man you had been together campaigning for him for five years, and now you claim that he is, you, the time that you're not in state house, you're going to make this man the president of the Republic of Kenya. Now here is where we come to understand the point from where President Uhuru Kenyatta is coming from. President Uhuru Kenyatta is a man, since he left the politics of the Republic of Kenya, he has kept a low profile. He has stayed away from the national politics. Reason being, President Uhuru Kenyatta does not want to go ahead and castigate President William Ruto in the things that Uhuru Kenyatta knows that William Ruto has been doing. You know, we, I have always told you, if there are people that know each other, it's President William Ruto and Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto were raised by Moi politically. These are the sons of Moi in terms of politics. And you, you can't tell me that you and your brother don't know each other. You and your brother spending time together, growing together, you will tell me, you can't tell me that you don't know your brother. It means you know him inside out. You know how this guy reacts to certain things. You know how he senses. You know how this guy, if he is dangerous or he is not. And President Uhuru Kenyatta knows that. William Ruto is a demon in a suit. Truth be told, President Uhuru Kenyatta knows that if now Raila Odinga is absorbed to the cocoon of President William Ruto, there will be no Kenya to run. There will be no businesses to protect. And one thing, since President, Uhuru, uh, President William Ruto ascended to power, his main objective and goal became to fight the Kenyatta family to make sure that it destroys the name of the Kenyatta family. He joined his hands with his deputy president, Rigathi Gashagwa, to destroy the Kenyatta family. But along the way, Rigathi Gashagwa, Rigathi Gashagwa's eyes opened. He realized that I'm being used to fight a man that has built me politically. And Gashagwa left the group of fighting Uhuru Kenyatta. Now William Ruto and his other Mount Kenya MPs are the ones that are fighting Uhuru Kenyatta. Now Uhuru has seen that there is a possibility of Raila Odinga winning the 2027 election, uh, the 2027 election. And that's why 
Uhuru Kenyatta has come forward to Raila Odinga with a proposal. There is a rumor that Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta held a meeting in Dubai. And there is another rumor that Raila Odinga and, and Uhuru Kenyatta met in the UK where they both of them discussed on the way forward. Now, Uhuru has made it clear to Raila Odinga Right now, the nation does not want to hear anything in regards to President William Ruto. This is your moment to shine. This is your moment to steal, to steal the presidency from this man. This is the moment to convince the people of the Republic of Kenya that you are fit to be their president come the year 2027. If you take it serious at this crucial moment and become the man for the people and not the man for the government, then be sure by the year 2027, the people will be convinced that we have to vote Raila Odinga in for change in the current government. That is what President Uhuru Kenyatta told Raila Odinga. Now, Raila Odinga cannot become the president of the Republic of Kenya come the year 2027 if he wins the African Union chairmanship. Reason being, the African Union chairmanship lasts for five years. So Raila Odinga will have other extra two years to serve the continent of Africa and not the Republic of Kenya. So he has to quit and withdraw from the race for AU chairmanship so that it will be viable for the 2027 general election. But also, President William Root was promised Raila Odinga that if he does not take it serious and allow Kalonzo Musioka to steal this opportunity from him, then Kalonzo Musioka and the, die, the, the defecting Azimio la Umoja principles will make it to the, 2022 gen to the 2027 general election and they might win and become the next government to rule the Republic of Kenya. And once they win, then Raila Odinga will be counted out because Raila Odinga did not side with them. He sided with the government of the Republic of Kenya. Right now, everybody wants Kalonso Musioka to be ready, to be prepared, to go ends on with the current regime because they believe that Kalonzo Musioka has what it takes to run against the president of the Republic of Kenya come the year 2027. The reason President Uhuru Kenyatta was warning Raila Odinga is because Kalonzo Musioka the, the Kenyans right now don't view Kalonzo Musioka as per his tribe. They don't view him as a kambama. They view him as a unifier of the nation because the Lua are singing about Kalonzo. The, the Kikuyus also, the Kambas, the Merus, the Luyas are saying that if it's possible, Kalonzo Musioka should be right now crowned as the opposition leader, so that he will take the mantle and go ahead to instill discipline in the current regime of President William Ruto. Now, Raila Odinga is a man who is always one foot in, one foot out. His foot is in the government, and then the other one is in opposition. And his foot is in the 2027 presidential elections, and the other foot is in the African Union chairmanship. So, Mr. Raila Odinga, the president, the former president is telling you one, make a choice. Make a choice. Choose. Am I going to become the African Union chairman and forego my dreams for becoming a president of Kenya? Or am I going to forego my African, uh, my African Union chairmanship so that I can run for the presidency come the year 2027? That is exactly what Uhuru is telling him. And Uhuru is telling Raila, there is no way. The people of the Republic of Kenya will give you votes again 
if you decide to side with William Ruto. You know, in the other regimes that Raila Odinga was absorbed in government, there is no any other regime that was so hard for him like this one of the year 2024. Because, remember in, 20, in the year 2007, then there was the post-election violence. The post-election violence did not head in the year 2007 and 2008. What added is it is the mediation that came in from the, from the African Union chairmanship, from Kofi Annan, who was sent to mediate between Raila Odinga and President Mwai Kibaki. And that's where they drafted the seat of prime minister and they decided to work on a Nusumkate government where Raila Odinga had half of the government and Mwai Kibaki had half of the government. So the opposition and the government were together and they worked towards one goal of making Kenya great. In 2018, when he was absorbed in Uhuru Kenyatta's government, there was no this commotion. It's because Uhuru Kenyatta sat down and realized that William Ruto will become the worst president to lead the Republic of Kenya. And that's why he called Raila Odinga to the table. You get me? That's why he called Raila Odinga to the table. And after calling Raila Odinga to the table, they had the hardship in 2018, which resulted to... William Ruto now going to vie on a sympathy vote, which made him the president of the Republic of Kenya. So, right now, Ruto is the most difficult person to win a presidential race again in our country, Kenya. So, Uhuru is telling Raila Odinga, it's your moment to shine. Don't take it for granted. Are you getting the point where I'm coming? But is Raila Odinga ready to let go of this chance to be involved in the current regime? He is also fighting with the ideology because also his other supporters and brothers in Azimio Laumoda have advised him to not take that opportunity because they believe that will be his downfall in politics. And apart from that, also we can all see the future for the Republic of Kenya in terms of opposition. The man that stands out today and opposes Ruto is the man that will become the next president of the Republic of Kenya come the year 2027. Because the convincing power that Ruto had, he has lost it. Yes, and that's what's up in regards to President Uhuru Kenyatta's advice to Bona Raila Amolo Linda. Please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Celeb Konaki. He call me your number one political analyst. Here we bring to you nothing but the best in terms of the politics of this nation. My name is FK Mwenda. Make sure 